What's up? In this video we're going to sum up and wrap up the rumors about the next iPhone or the iPhone 5. The most frequent rumor about Apple's next iPhone is that it's gonna have a bigger screen, supposedly a 4 inch screen diagonally. Some rumors say it's going to be 3.95 inches and some saying that they found leaked parts of the new iPod Touch, which has 4.1 inch screen, say that it's going to be the same screen on the iPhone 5. Whatever the exact number is, the new screen will be taller, but keep the same width. Since the screen is going to be bigger, to keep the retina status, it will have to have more pixels, and also a resolution of 640 by 1136, which will add 176 horizontal lines or pixels to the height of the screen. A lot of apps could take advantage of the big screen, by letting the user see more at once. This change will make the aspect ratio 16 by 9, which will make YouTube videos fit the whole part of the screen. About time now. The next iPhone is also rumored to have a different design. Some sources claim, like Mac rumors, that the screen is going to be curved and they mention the liquid metal to be used uh, on the back end of the phone. And some say the new iPhone is going to have a teardrop design, which apparently has been abandoned by Apple. As a reminder, Apple has bought a company which makes liquid metal materials, which are supposedly are stronger and also lighter, but I don't think Apple is ready to product millions of devices with that liquid metal material just yet. iLaunch claims the next iPhone to be around 20% thinner, and also to have a smaller USB dock connector, which will be universal across all new devices. I personally don't see any reasons for Apple to decrease the size of the USB dock connector, other than making people rebuy all the accessories, speakers and cases for the iPhone, but I do think that Apple's next iPhone will be thinner. With all the different concepts out there of the next iPhone, I think the most possible one is by Mac Rumors, and that is this one. Speaking of the design, the iPhone 5 is rumored to have the Gorilla Glass 2 technology, which actually makes screens more solid and harder to break, which I think every iPhone user would agree to have. Now let's talk about the software, which will be iOS 6 for the next iPhone. iOS 6 is certainly going to announce to the world during WWDC this June, and brought to the iPhone 5 whenever it gets released. The next software will maybe let the iPhone use the NFC technology, which lets you use the phone as a credit card by approaching your phone to a detector. Apple has already made a patent of iWallet, which could be the name of NFC, and also the answer of Apple to Google Wallet. Now the hardware of the next iPhone rather than the NFC technology is going to be about the same. I don't think Apple has to necessarily upgrade the A5 chip on the phone. The camera of the next iPhone is rumored to be slightly upgraded as far as for bright and low light conditions by adding Sony's new RGWB coding method. However, I don't think the camera will have more megapixels because 8 megapixels is already good enough for a smartphone but it's still possible. So the main question now is the announcement date. And I would say the new iPhone will be released coming to our doorsteps in around October. And the reason for it is, is that Apple has never upgraded their phones in less than a year. However, we can all stay tuned for iOS 6 to be announced at WWDC from June 11th to June 15th, which is actually less than three weeks from now. And that's pretty good. So expect a four inch screen redesigned Gorilla Glass 2 NFC capable with a slightly better camera and processor, new iPhone with maybe a smaller dock connector in around October. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up if you liked it. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this or other reviews or news or whatever, mostly on Apple products. If you feel like checking my top 10 iPad apps or top 10 iPhone or iPod Touch apps, you can click on these videos uh, right here and it will bring it to you. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook app, Facebook fan page. All the links are in the description. And also Google Plus if you have. So this has been the TechnoTuber, and up until next week, peace.